Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today is that time again. It's that time of the week where we go over the Eve Echoes patch notes for the April the 7th. Now as always the maintenance will start at 8am UTC and will take approximately 120 minutes to complete. During this time players will be unable to log in to the game and the discord will become a cesspit. You have been warned. Remember to like the video if you do enjoy my content guys. Today's not going to be a massive rant. There isn't too much stuff on here that's bad. There's a lot of good stuff on here though. For once we're actually having a good patch note. Granted there's one disturbing point that we will need to go through when we get to it. So let's get into the new features and optimizations. Number one, raise the maximum player limit of null sec systems from 800 to 1000. It's a very good step in the right direction for null sec warfare and the sovereignty system allowing for more people to be in the system without having to get the actual system reinforced by the developers it's nice to see that they are making some changes that benefit the players and especially what the players are complaining about and the and those null sake players should see this as a very good addition now to the disturbing part number two players can no longer create new characters using an emulator does this mean that they're going to be start phasing out emulators maybe they'll stop people from using emulators i mean it is the cause of most of the botting and input broadcasting across the actual game now i know on android you can get bots i've seen those bots and i've seen them being used on the android but the vast majority is just easier to use an emulator now is phasing out emulators worth losing a significant part of the player base if they can no longer use an emulator some people don't have phones that can run the game others don't have phones that have long battery lives there are some that their batteries actually overheat and the phone becomes super hot whilst being charged and playing the game at the same time there's a lot of factors on either side i know there's some of you that hate emulators and some of you that love emulators let me know down below where you stand on this issue with emulators do you think they're going to be phasing it out would you be happy if they phased out emulators would you still continue to play the game if emulators were no longer allowed now i know that's not what it says here and i know it's being a little far-fetched saying that they're going to phase out emulators completely but it does feel like it's a step in that direction especially since you can't create new characters using an emulator so newer players that are coming into the game cannot use emulators from the get-go however there is a way around this i do believe that you'd just be able to go onto the phone create an account with the phone link it to one separate account on facebook or twitter etc and then load up that account on the emulator so you can get around it it's just an extra bullshit step that you don't really need so i don't really know why they've added this as a thing kind of makes no sense to me moving on to number three search history for each system is now saved locally on the client i'm not sure what this does maybe you can let me know down below if this actually means anything if it does anything i'm not really sure maybe i'm just missing the point on that one number four update the ship info screen now if this is fixing the actual problems that is on the actual fitting screen then this is great if it's just the description change or maybe the ship stats that are on the whole list of the base stats has been optimized who knows I'm hoping it's the actual fitting screen that's been sorted out for the ship info. Number five, added a ship comparison feature in the ship tree. This should have been in from the beginning, but this is another very good step in the direction of what the players want in EVE Echoes, including myself. Both the null sex system maximum player limit and the updated ship tree to allow ship filtering are two very, very good changes. Number seven, players in the executor corporation with alliance management positions will now be notified when a corporation applies to join the alliance or leaves it when a corporation is removed from the alliance all players in that corporation will be notified well at least you won't be trying to talk into alliance chat or sending in some sort of they probably got a load of like complaints in the customer service my alliance chat isn't working that's because your ceo shat the bed and got kicked out the alliance i mean that's the only reason i think they would actually change or add this aspect to the game number eight updated estimated prices according to the current market transaction records i'm sure this was done every week anyway so why are they added it to the patch notes unless it hasn't been done every week and they're only adding and changing it when they say they are in the patch notes i thought this was supposed to be updated weekly maybe it's something else they're talking about but i'm pretty sure it's basically updating what the average price is for what we've been selling and buying for it's a very very weird one maybe they have maybe they haven't who knows number nine patch notes will no longer pop up once you have read them until new patch notes are released suppose that will help you get into the game quicker when it inevitably crashes on you number 10 added the ore compression feature and ore compression skills 
Now players can compress ore at Cap City Outpost and Corporation Citadels. This is the biggest change apart from the maximum player limit of null six systems that's quite a large change but again this is one of the top three changes you got the maximum player limit you got the comparison feature in the ship tree and now we have all compression now if you don't know what all compression is i'm pretty sure it's a hundred times but we'll just use hundred times as an example just in case I don't want to get shat on if it ain't 100 times tomorrow. But what it does is it gets a standard bit of ore and it gets 100 standard bits of ore and it compiles it together to make it take less space. Because obviously in space, weight is not an issue when you're actually carrying goods. It's the amount of space within the ship. That's why it's in meters cubed with the actual limit on the ship. So if you have it a lot smaller, compact and compressed, you can fit more of that ore inside of holds. Now this is a big change this will be able to bring a lot of the stuff from nullsec that's sitting there doing nothing into high sec for people to buy it's going to help industry players it's going to help miners be able to bring in nullsec stuff without having to use multiple ships to be able to drag it over and a lot of people have said that they use reprocessing to drag the stuff over reprocessing actually makes it harder to bring over you take a when it comes to the smaller stuff like uh, not the tritanium and not the pyrite because like the amount of Tritanium and Pirate that comes out of when you reprocess is insane. You can carry a lot of the smaller stuff, your Mexalon, etc. Because not a lot of it comes out when you are actually doing it and it doesn't wait and it doesn't take up that much space because it's very small amounts. But now you'll be able to carry everything into high sec as ore. You can either sell that ore for someone who has better reprocessing rates than you. So they will actually take it for a higher price which is another good thing it will stimulate the market economy for the actual industry so that's a good change you can see this is weird we're talking about good changes the entire time and i don't feel like getting angry whatsoever again disturbed about the emulator changes but it is what it is the devs did say they will not be supported at all so who knows what's going to happen number 11 added notifications for certain operations while flying in a capsule it doesn't matter that of well yeah okay good change 12 added info about viewing blueprints to tips again probably just a little bit of a fluff change nothing really matters there number 13 after completing an encounter mission if there are items the mission offers you will receive an extra notification reminding you to claim the items at the destination do you know how many boxes i have got all over space from when i was grinding story missions hundreds i refuse to go and get them all because i forgot to pick them up when i was doing the actual mission it is a nightmare and there's probably a few billion isks just sitting in those boxes waiting for me to actually take out but since i'm not really playing anymore i didn't really feel the need to it's a good change especially to keep people notified of when they have loot especially if they need to sell the stuff onto the market Number 14, tapping the balance update notice will now direct you to the corporation wallet interface. Yeah, quality of life, nothing, no big deal. Number 15, when selecting the items to reprocess, the reprocessing interface will now pop up. Now this was there in beta, the reprocessing interface. I had it pop up once and it never popped up again. At the entire time, I never saw that, well, I never saw the reprocessing interface ever again after that one time it is good so you can collect information on how much you're reprocessing from certain things and what you'll get out of it in the end of the day it will help those spreadsheet guys being able to get more information out of the reprocessing stick it in tables for you and get all the mathematics and numbers out there it's going to be a good change for industry and there's a lot of good changes for industry in this actual patch notes so it looks like it's a week for industry guys and that's all we have for the new features and optimizations we'll move on to the bug fixes number one fix an issue where the security rating of some systems was incorrectly displayed that's a definite thing that needed to be changed i guess number two fix an issue where kill mails would not load in certain cases i'm not sure what this would be maybe you'll actually get the kill mails now when a rat kills the person you're accidentally hunting i mean i feel horrible having to ask someone i just blew up in a massive ship worth a lot of money for the kill mail because the rat got the final hit and i can't exactly ask the rat to give me the kill mail so there's hopefully it's that it's probably not it's probably like an hour delay for the pods and stuff maybe that was sorted out number three fix an issue where you would be incorrectly directed to another skin when tapping the maelstrom dawn skin in the new eden store well, i'm pretty sure i checked those skins and the maelstrom was not one of them i don't even think it's on the store so that's a confusing one maybe they just like renamed it like they accidentally called the amora Aguila and the dominix of vexa maybe there was just a bit of a confusion there because the maelstrom isn't even accessible yet so 
who knows so all in all we got some really good changes for industry they've got the compression you've got the reprocessing interface to see how much you're getting out of it with all the bonuses etc will likely be inside of that you got some entering the game quality of life changes where you won't see the patch notes pop up every single time you've got a raised maximum limit of null set systems from 800 to a thousand but now you also have the fact that new players who want to come into the game cannot use an emulator to do that and that kind of sucks but you can't have all good with no bad there always has to be at least one bad thing to balance the scales a little bit all in all these are some good patch notes there's actually some good things a lot of these things are player feedback driven and they finally got the ore compression out there let me know down below what you think about these patch notes if there's anything you still want to see updated and fixed in the future and if you're as okay okay as me at these patch notes now it's probably not going to bring me back i'm likely going to be coming back in may for the expiration update if that does come out i really do want to check out that big update and see what's good especially with the new balance changes so i will be back and i will be making content more regularly for evacos in may if it comes out in may and that's all we have for today so i want you all to fly safe remember to like and sub if you haven't already this will still be your one-stop shop for eve echoes content we do have other guides for other games coming up we've got outriders guides if you guys are playing that i'm heavily playing that right now i'm really enjoying it even with all of its issues and we have the war path strategy war game guides coming out as well so make sure to check them out if you are interested in those games fly safe and avoid local chat scams